With your backyard then, instead of having a lawn mowing bill or some weeds, why don't you explore what you can do with it? Can you subdivide it? Can you do a minor dwelling? How can you build on your backyard to get the best returns from it? We find properties where we're able to add minor dwellings, creating extra cash flow for a comparatively lower price than the acquisition of the existing property, therefore getting two incomes for the price of one and a half. We're investors that have a building company as opposed to builders that have a building company. Way back when we started out doing this for ourselves, we were doing really well and we had people come to us and ask us what we were doing and how we were doing it. And through that process, we've now got a building company where we work for others. So Fuse found me uh, this property, negotiated the price with the vendor lower than I could negotiate myself. Excellent plans, a very efficient use of space. And from previous project with Fuse, I found that rent is higher than I expected, so returns are really nice. I've been property investing for over six years. Um, I found my portfolio wasn't doing quite as well as I would like it to. I didn't have the, the right smarts, the team around me, the financial structure. And so I jumped on board with Fuso and um, they cemented all of that. It just took my portfolio from kind of here to like another level. So I'm really, really excited. We'll show you the options and model the numbers. You wanted to get the best cash flow, the best equity uh, that you can. We'll explore doing that. We can get you a fixed price building contract there, obtain the resource and building consent so you don't have to, and manage the construction process. We've done over 350 of these since 2003. So we're best placed in the market to help you out.